Today on Gone From Earth, we travel to Europe, where we will learn all about a wild goat that could once be found there. The Pyrenean ibex was once common in southern France, the Cantabrian Mountains, and the northern Pyrenees. Males had grayish-brown fur with black patches, as well as a mane above the neck. Females had brown fur with no patches. However, both sexes had horns. The horns of males were long and curved, growing about 31 inches, while females' horns were straighter and shorter. The Pyrenean ibex spent summers along cliffs and mountainsides. During the winters, they spent their time in upland meadows that were free of snow. Females usually gave birth to their kids in May. They were common in their native range throughout the Middle Ages, but populations began to decline in the 19th and 20th centuries because they were hunted to make trophies of their horns. The ibex were also forced to share their range with livestock like horses, sheep, cattle, and domestic goats. Competition for grazing areas became quite fierce. Furthermore, mammals that were not native to the Pyrenean ibex's range, such as the fallow deer and the mouflon, were introduced to the region. Not only did they contribute to the issue of overgrazing, these creatures also probably transmitted exotic diseases. By the year 1913, the ibex was found only in Ordesa Valley in Spain. The last natural individual was a female named Celia. She died on January 6, 2000. This brings us to a unique event in the history of extinction. Before Celia's death, scientists had actually collected cells from her skin and preserved them in liquid nitrogen. They tried many times to implant a cloned embryo into a domestic goat. Eventually, one survived and was born in 2003. However, it died less than 10 minutes after birth due to a lung defect. This makes the Pyrenean ibex the only species to have gone extinct twice. Next time on Gone From Earth, we will travel to Ecuador's Penta Island and learn all about a tortoise that could only be found there. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on our next adventure.